Today we have our technicians for maintenance and for operation. We have the big project going in next year and they're receiving training for that equipment. This is all new to our site, new to Baton Rouge, and uh, we're really excited to have the opportunity to bring equipment out for them to train on, hands-on, uh, in addition to the classroom training that they're getting. We're really appreciative of the community for all the support that we've gotten. Uh, for the project and we're really excited again to have folks that are being able to be trained on this equipment. Great partnership with uh, Louisiana Economic Development LED to uh, really provide us some quality training materials and help us with this project. So the project is what we would consider a feed flexibility project and what we're doing is basically making the Baton Rouge site more competitive in the global market as we go forward. So um, again there's first to Baton Rouge technology that we're receiving and uh, in the future that's going to help us to again remain a competitive part of the the uh, global energy market. Something that from a competitive perspective, again, we, we work in a global market and that's something that uh, we're able to continue to bring quality jobs to Baton Rouge um, to really, again, help the community. I think, you know, again, if you ask anybody here, they're really proud to work for our company and uh, for the work that we do to provide energy. I'm from Baton Rouge originally. Um, you know, I grew up here. I went to school here. I went to LSU and, um, you know, it's a quality career that I've had. I've been here with, for 15 years and I uh, expect that I'll be here uh, a lot longer. So it's been great for me and my family. There's people that we have that have been with the company for some time. Um, you know, the, the upgrades that we're doing is to our facility are things that um, only happen like once in a generation. So that's, that's what I'm really excited about to see, just the excitement uh, on their faces that they get to be part of something like that and kind of that's, uh, you know, again, kind of changing for the better. Maintaining kind of our competitive position, I think that the positions that we have here are going to be here for a long time just because of some of the improvements that we're making now. Having industry leading, uh, you know, global leading technology is really exciting to have here in Baton Rouge. The valve demonstration here, so part of our project is we're upgrading our facilities at the Coker unit. So part of this project is we'll add eight Coker slide valves, uh, delta decoking valves on the operating unit. So we'll put the big bu uh, bud unheading device on the 40 foot and the top unheading device on the 141. And so the biggest project upgrade with this is going to be uh, minimizing post uh, personnel exposure. They'll be able to minimize the steam and condensate and greatly increase the safety of the project. Really excited. We're glad to have everybody come through here. It's been a great opportunity. We partnered with LED and uh, LED Fast Start folks, and we've developed several apps and maintenance procedures and operation procedures that's gonna drive a lot of the conversations and a lot of the information in the field. So the operations and maintenance folks will take, be able to take their process and mechanical iPhones and look up procedures in the field and perform them in real time. So the, the greatest upgrade for ours is we've actually partnered uh, with LED and uh, top right corner, a Louisiana vendor based out of New Orleans. What we develop is an augmented reality app that is going to help facilitate and make maintenance much easier for personnel. We're driving investments here in Baton Rouge. We've got a lot of folks uh, that are coming in and excited about this project. We funneled 120 people through our, through our training and it's really important to see that our company and our, our company is investing in this area and investing in the facilities. We are Baton Rouge's original base facility. We've been here over 100 years, so we're really excited that we're committed and we're staying here.